guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is dominic and this is dominic inspirations so today i have an important uh 20 life lessons that i wanna discuss with you people the first uh, uh point is that uh, never explain yourself to somebody to anybody never explain yourself at the end of the day no one is righteous no one is good no one is perfect never explain yourself uh, to somebody number two time is uh, precious you know time they say waits for no man and as a matter of fact uh, we should be very cautious we should take it with a lot of uh, seriousness each and every day as we undertake the activities of the day we should remember that time is not there for us time is not waiting for us so we have to utilize each and every minute that we have just like a leaf uh, just like a, a river or an ocean at the tides when they come you see when you are at the uh, at the shores you know of of the beach uh, you find that there is some tides they just come at once and they go the second tides they will not be the same as the uh, first one so that is how time is so each and every day make use of time make use of each and every moment that you have and when you make use of that moment of course you will be uh, in a place whereby it is expected you to be number three never chase what you can't kill you know each and every moment of course if you see that uh, this thing that I'm doing it is not bringing up any uh, fruits make sure that don't waste your time you know chasing something that uh, you cannot achieve that you cannot get in life always go uh, for that uh, thing that you are sure that you will get it that you are sure that this at the end of the day i will uh, hit the jackpot and it will be mine uh, officially uh, the fourth point it is uh, you know there is the power there is uh, exposure exposure has uh, uh, power you know there is power in exposure when you move from where you stay you go to uh, to point B you move from point A to point B maybe uh, you are living uh, in Africa and you decide you know what this year I'm going to Australia I'm going to London I'm going to uh, New York City in the States you know as you will be moving from one place to another you will be exposed to different ideas to different environment and you will come to realize that wow I had missed a lot of opportunities and here I am seeing different things and experiencing a different environment it really assists very much so always ensure that you expose yourself and exposure does not uh, uh, limit you it is not only when you move but also when you uh, read the books you know you, you read a particular a novel you know you read magazine you go to the internet you know you uh, you peruse through you, you as you continue doing uh, or as you continue uh, adapting that habit you are being exposed but be exposed on things that brings positive impact and your life number uh, the next one keep on moving despite the uh, setbacks 
It doesn't mean the, uh, the setbacks that you've been facing. It doesn't matter the challenges, you know, no matter how hard uh, they have been, just continue moving. They say, if you can't run, then uh, walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. As long as you don't stop, at the end of the day, you will achieve uh, what you're looking for or you will be successful in that hustle that uh, you are looking for. The next point, of course, that is uh, number six. Never mind what people are saying about you. You know, always mind what God speaks about you. Always mind, if I do this, what will Almighty God uh, think of me? If I do this, what uh, is my Redeemer going to say about my life? Always mind about God and not people. If you mind about people, that is when you find most of the people are uh, getting uh, into a depression, you know. They start being depressed, they start having stress, you know, unnecessary. Uh, so never mind about people, you know. If you mind about uh, people you will always hurt yourself the next point which is number seven learn how to receive be a master receiver what people say are you crazy no just learn how to uh, to receive in order for you to be a master giver you must be or you must learn how to be a master receiver if today uh, for example you walk on the streets maybe the streets of california the streets of uh, uh, south africa you know wherever you are then you find somebody that uh, greets you hi how are you nice to meet you nice to meet you too of course you will reply then uh that somebody offers you something of course it, it is not wise to uh to pick uh anything from a stranger it is not good but uh, you find maybe you are in a particular uh, uh situation whereby you need help and you find somebody offering you that help then at the end of the day, you will just sit there and uh, uh, flash back how the day has been and you will come to realize that there is power. I felt good when somebody assisted me. That somebody on the street made my day. And when you will realize that uh, receiving or that person has impacted your life positively, there you will start developing a heart of assisting other people and as you will assist other people there is somebody uh, uh, who will have the urge of assisting another uh, person and that cycle continues so in order for you to be a destiny uh, or rather to be a master uh, giver you must be a master uh, receiver Another one that is a, a balance. We learn how to balance between uh, criticism and uh, praises. You know, when somebody criticizes you, uh, take that criticism in a positive way. Maybe uh, he's uh, criticizing you. He's, uh, he has, uh, he or she has seen a particular weakness in you. So always learn how to turn that criticism uh, to be a positive one you know and also when somebody praises you uh, you will get that uh, most of the people they cannot praise you for good they maybe they were having a particular uh, uh, urge or a problem now they okay, in order for them to be sorted out they have to praise you so that you can chip in and uh, uh, assist them so uh, number uh, nine is that uh, uh, you know people who surround you you know they can be your friend your relatives your family members one day they will come to 
disappoint you whether you like it or not they will come to disappoint you so it is either you uh, you choose between those people and the disappointment the choice uh, is yours number 10 is that change is always constant you see there must uh, be change in our lives you know how I am today how I'm dressed today tomorrow or the next two hours I will not dress the same you know maybe I will go to somewhere and uh, the clothes or rather the vehicle will just pass by and uh, datify me and automatically immediately I mean I will go back to the room and change so that is change you know so just be ready for any changes in life you know today you can be a millionaire tomorrow you're not a millionaire today you can be a poor person tomorrow you will be a rich guy uh number 11 always ensure that you surround yourself with people who impact your life positively you know and uh, these people, of course, uh, ensure you surround yourself with older people, somebody who is older than you. If you surround uh, yourself with somebody who is uh, older than you, uh, basically you will be getting advice, advices, different advices, and uh, you will get to understand that uh, you will develop to grow as from that time uh, henceforth. Number 12, everyone has a destiny helper. You know, I usually hear some people saying that God has left me, you know. No, God has not left you. At that particular point when you are about to give up, there is when God comes in and uh, holds you and shows you the direction and tells you this is the way, uh, my son, just go this way. I've not left you. It is only that I was just uh, uh, giving you a test to ensure that you've passed. And that is uh, uh, when, uh, you know, when God wants to bless you, he must give you, uh, there must be an agreement. There must be, uh, there must be uh, uh, challenges. And lastly, the fulfillment of what you are desiring uh, to do. Of course, uh, the uh, th 13th uh, uh, fact in life, everyone is mad in this world, no matter the president, kings, ministers, uh, civil servants, locals, everyone is mad. I'm saying everyone is mad but the degree of madness is what matters from one individual to the other you know that is uh, when you find uh, maybe when there is a conflict you will find somebody of course there are two parties who are uh, conflicting to each other you'll find that one party is very aggressive wants to uh, punch the other or rather wants to uh, punish the other party but the other party uh, he or she remains silent and uh, if you are there as a third party you will realize that people are different that difference is what brings about the difference in madness in the degree of madness uh, in this life uh, another fact of life fact number 14 always ensure that you lift someone's hand you know they say to who much is given much is expected so if God lifts you to a particular level he's expecting you to uh, to lift somebody else so that that somebody can also smile the way you are smiling so always ensure that you hold somebody 
wherever God uplifts you from one level of glory to another. Factor, uh, fact number 15. No matter how a razor, uh, a razor blade, you know, they are usually sharp. No matter how sharp it is, it cannot cut a tree. You know, that's the fact. It cannot be changed. It cannot cut a tree. And that's, and that's how uh, you see the, the differences, the importance of having a razor, having uh, maybe uh, having uh, an axe, then having uh, a knife. Both of them, they have different uh, uses. A knife has got uh, its use. A laser has got its use. So uh, a, a razor cannot cut a tree, and that is that. So the must, uh, there is a background. Uh, that's my friend who is speaking. And uh, of course, number, uh, number 16. A long distance relationship is not, uh, as in long distance relationship does not affect any relationship, you know, but uh, lack of communication, it does. If there is lack of communication, then the relationship is over. So uh, let you not be cheated that long term or long distance relationship uh, a, is a major factor of uh, uh, divorce or something. No. It is the lack of communication that uh, hampers or prevents or comes a hindrance mm -hmm. to that, uh, you know, union. So, 17, hard work has no uh, replacement. If somebody is a hard working, then there is no a repl a replacement of it. So, that is that. And uh, uh, number 18, people will always treat you uh, how you carry yourself around, how you uh, portray or uh, present yourself to them. If you present yourself in a good way, then they will be treating you in that way. If you diminish yourself, then they will assist in uh, helping you. To, to be in your position. So always carry yourself around in a good manner, portray yourself the way you want people to uh, treat you, and also you will, uh, or rather you will be, uh, be treated on how you want them to treat you. Uh, the second last is uh, a fool will always remain a fool no matter how sense you try to uh, impact him with. Never advise a fool, you know, because at the end of the day, he will not listen to you. And uh, the matter of fact that if he will not listen to you, you will be wasting your time and uh, he will continue. Uh, advancing in his career uh, uh, and that will be that lastly but not the least is uh, the best answer you can give to somebody is uh, uh, you know when maybe you you've conflicted to each other the best answer you can give him is just keep quiet if you keep quiet if you be silent uh, he will be left with a lot of questions, asking himself, uh, what is he thinking about, about me, you know? What is he uh, planning, planning to do with me? And uh, uh, he will leave you alone. He will not hurt you or she will not hurt you. So if you are new to this channel, subscribe, hit that notification uh, uh, bell so that wherever I post a video, you will be the first one to uh, watch it. Thank you.